But we're just gonna, we're gonna do this. Cause my hair is just about dry. I kept thinking I wanna film this. Um, yeah, I dyed my hair. I used the Schwarzkopf dye. Um, if you guys wanna know more about it, I can tell you. I have, don't think I've used box dye in forever. My mom actually helped me do it. I still have some right here. Look at that. Whatever, it is what it is. I went back to, um, I, I chose the onyx black color and Amazon was actually limiting how many you could buy. You could only buy one box. I bought two. I bought one at Walmart and one on Amazon. I wasn't sure how many I was going to need for my hair and then I just thought, okay, well, I have an extra in case we lock down again in December or whatever. Well, I'm in New York State. We're in phase one. There are four phases to complete reopening and um, phase one, like, they were going back and forth. We weren't supposed to reopen. Our hospitalizations were up too much. And then, I don't even know, the next thing I knew, we were open two days later. And, um, you know, it was partly because people need to go back to work and there's a lot of that, you know, issue. And um, so our numbers are still kind of rising. And it, it you know, I, I don't know if we're going to make it to phase two. Phase two is where we get haircuts. So phase one is construction. Phase two is haircuts and, like, lawyers and... Um, professional people like that but it's weird because when they reopen it's literally like everything's at 50% capacity you're not really reopening you're still like not able to go into a store or go into a restaurant or anything like that it's curbside pickup only everybody's got to wear masks everything smells of deter or I don't even want to know cleaning supplies although we can't buy Lysol or Clorox here still so my thought was like can I wait two more months I, I probably could have. I don't see why not, but it just it wasn't looking right. So I thought, all right, let's just do this. And then maybe in like September, October, I'm also not going to rush the crowd. When the hair salon does open, it, it <laughs> I love my hair salon. They had a ton on their website today of recommendations and what they were going to, what the reopening was going to look like. So they put up like partitions at all the hair cutting stations, like plexiglasses like the supermarkets have. Everybody's got to wear a mask. You have to stay in your car. Somebody comes out and tells you or calls you when it's time to go in. There's no waiting room anymore. The spa is not open. The nail place is not open. It's basically like we know you have to get your hair cut or colored, but if you don't have to get it colored, don't. Just come in and come out. You know, it just it didn't feel right, honestly. It was like this is so intense and it just doesn't feel normal. So I'm just not going to fight the crowd either and go somewhere where it's like just not ready. You have to like come alone, which I, I always go alone to the hair place, but I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a teacher. We're cleaning out our rooms hopefully in a week and they're requiring us to get our temperatures checked before we come in the building. We have to wear masks. They staggered all of us on separate days. So you're not on the same day as your other, like, like if you're a kindergarten teacher, you're not on the same day as your other kindergarten teacher. Cause I don't want people like socializing or congregating and they do meal food service still at my school. So it's still open and they don't want to have to shut that down because somebody came in with a fever or whatever. Um, it's just, it's so much. It, it's so overwhelming. I don't know if you guys read the CDC guidelines for schools. It is insane. I put it on my Instagram. Look it up if you haven't. Look up this. And I know they're guidelines. I get it, you guys. But the guidelines are so crazy. It's like every child over the age of two has to wear a mask. There's only one way you can go down the hallway. They Children have to follow lines and arrows directing them how to walk down the hallway. Only one student per seat on the bus and every other seat has to be skipped. Staggered arrival and departure time so students do not congregate. No shared materials, no shared devices, no shared computers, crayons, markers, no toys or manipulatives, dress up clothes, any of that. I'm a pre-K teacher, so that's huge. Any of that, like play stuff, none of that. Um, no sports, no congregating, no visitors. Uh, I mean, it was like everybody was like, holy crap. <laughs> uh, temperature checks, health checks on top of that. Um, hand washing intervals regularly. And then um, schedule times where teachers will like, or times in the day where teachers will sanitize and clean. I can't, sorry about the noise, it is what it is. I can't find Clorox or Lysol wipes to save my life. How am I gonna clean? 
when am I gonna have time to do that? And my kids are pre-K, like, you know, no cafeterias, everything has to be bagged food, um, no field trips, no gatherings of any kind. Like, it's just like, they're, they're, it's not school. I don't know what that is. Like, it, it's so, I mean, I know it has to be what it has to be. We all have to be safe, whatever, but it was so intense. So even when things are open, they're not opened. It's just, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, whatever. So we're going to do the Hot Tools GHD um, round brush. And I'm going to compare it with the Revlon one. So I'm going to put it on the low setting. You guys have seen me do this before with the Revlon one. Uh, I have been using this for about a month now. I do this about once a week to my hair when it's about 90% dry. And I'm going to be using some hot rollers. I'm just going to speed it up. And then I'm going to show you on each side of my head the difference and then the finished product. So here we go. I put it on low. You can probably tell because I have a gray shirt on and the hair is black black now so you can see a lot better. So this is, now mind you, my hair is really, really dry. If it was a little bit more damp, it'd probably come out a little bit sleeker. It's more the ends I want you to focus on um, and the way the hair looks. Now let's do this side with the Revlon guy. The GHD one is like $20 cheap, or not GHD, I keep calling it the Hot Tools one. It's about 20 bucks cheaper. I think it was like $70. Um, I do like it better. I do think it does a little bit of a better job on my hair. I do think it's worth the money. I wish I would have purchased that first before this one. Not that I don't like this. If I didn't have that one, I'd probably still be using this. Um, but I find that my ends of my hair in general is a little bit more frizzy when I use this. So, again, I'm going to put this on low.
I, you know. So you can already see, now I know it's kind of an unfair judgment because like I said, my hair is dry and it's super, super kinky curly, as you can tell. And they say if you have hair like this, this tool is gonna to be a little bit better for you. Um, so you can already see the difference. I mean, look at how, how swelled the hair shaft is over here versus here. I didn't have to keep going a lot with this one, passes and passes, so and I would to make it look a little bit more like this, but with this one, with the Hot Tools one, it's quicker, it's easier, I don't have to do that. So let me just show you. This is again, roll. I mean, it's not as like sleek. So I did notice that. So let me finish it with the Hot Tools one and show you what I mean. Here we go. looks more polished. I mean, it feels less frizzy, less dehydrated. And when I go through and do passes with this guy, and I don't need my hair perfectly straight. You know, if I decide I want to curl it later in the week or something, I, you know, I don't need, I'm not really looking to do like a flat iron job here, just decently straight. But the Revlon one just, it doesn't, it just doesn't get my hair, and it's just my texture of my hair. So if you have, I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. I do have frizzy hair. I have naturally kinky, curly hair. It's very high maintenance. Um, so if you have hair that is fine, it's really kind of like full straight, you might want to just go with the Revlon one.
Um, you can even see, I don't, I don't even know if you can see, but right here, I have a little, like, it's, it's not as, like, smooth as this side. Right here versus here. Hey, kitty. So, that is one thing. I mean, I, I didn't want to do, like, half my head with the rub on, half my head with this. Hi, cat. Oh. Because you guys have seen me do the Revlon one, I really wanted to show you this one and then kind of just show you a little bit of the difference. And the difference is huge, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if it was like, like, is my Revlon one kind of going? Is this really gimmicky or is this really working? So I do think this one is better for my hair structure and type. Um, I, I feel like I'm cheating on the Revlon one because I do think it's great. Hey! Um... I'm going to let these rollers sit in a little bit and then I'm going to take them down and I will show you how my hair looks like the finished product. And then, you know, you guys got to go from there. That's it. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.